We lived recently, he had the initiative to create a factory in Bobo Alasso this factory. It's going to help reduce unemployment a bit. There were a lot of people who had left their villages, stopping at the traffic lights or whatever, so it looks like they've all gone back to their villages. It's that we see on social networks what we see like this, only at the office even what we often see. He paid for the materials. And the war load planes, we see that on TV and with the naked eye too, we see that too, so we appreciate a lot, we have a lot of problems. We shout, we're confident that it's going to be okay because we have confidence in ourselves, have confidence in our president. It's going to be okay with the state, it's just a matter of trust and encouragement to support with the state, it's going to be okay for safety. We can see that many things he knows how to stop. You want the territory? Bobos go. There's a lot of news that we were expecting to come to Bobo, but at the moment everything is stable and on the security front, I think that there are populations at Bovao and in the environments that have been installed since the arrival of MPSR, it's as I said earlier, it's still satisfying and encouraging because we already see on social networks even others who are on the fields whereas two years ago it wasn't possible. Are you coming? I'm sure you'll all agree that the balance sheet is very positive, insofar as some areas have been reclaimed. Today, schools have opened in places where there were no schools before. Education is the foundation of any society. We have to teach our children our values and our cultures, instead of going to Germany or France to teach them. Does Burkina Bay know the history of Masi, Dafi, Bobo and Pul? That's what's most important, you have to learn. Values to our children. Greetings, families. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can tell by the video you have just watched, the camera is on the street asking the people, Burkina Bay, what do they think after two years? Yesterday, 30th of September, was exactly two years since our president took over. What do they think about him? What do they like? What do they not like? And you heard them, what they said about him. But wait for it. There is more. Families, if this is your first time, my name is Mambi Ariaton. Anything concerning Africa, especially in the Sahara, as you can tell. And everything that you heard is not just by saying, thank goodness, I have tons of videos, hundreds, yes, not two, not ten hundreds of videos to testify what each and everyone has said. There is more to listen to. Families, let's listen to more. I'll be back. Thank you so much for your time. So, on the popular mobilizations during the coup d'etat on September 30th, Nikaidata proposes a follow-up, all promoted by MPSR2. According to the Wagalits we interviewed, it still carries the same strong hope that was born when power was seized on September 30th, that zero in the fight against terrorism, which is bearing fruit and strengthening the sovereignty of the country, two years after the advent of the NPSR2 at the head of state power in the streets of Ouagadougou, the enthusiasm and support of the population for the authorities continues unabated. For many citizens we met in the Burkinabe capital, NPSR2, led by Captain Ibrahim Traoré, embodies the hope of an entire nation. A nation in search of peace, security and stability. We have brave soldiers and VDBs mobilized at the front. So that we can really find peace again in our country. So we can say here that the balance sheet, really we really up to it. That's because just last time I was talking to the military. But we can see that they're really galvanized, really, really determined to really fight this tide. In terms of e-terrorism, there's been a major advance in terms of the army's equipment. In terms of fighting spirit and territorial recovery, there are certainly shortcomings, but after two years of fighting, two years of war, we can safely say that Captain Ibram Traoré is the right man for the job. The task is tough, it's very difficult. We can also see how they are fighting in the oven, always in the oven and in the calf, to get Burkina Faso back to the way it was. And we can see ourselves too. How can the guys fight so that Burkina Faso becomes a better place in the future? That before Wagadet who are especially pleased with the dynamic set in motion by the authorities under the leadership of the president of Faso. This leadership is reflected in the major political decisions taken to put Burkina Faso on the road to full sovereignty and independence. 
One of the things that stood out for us was the breaking off of certain colonial agreements that prevented our policies from being implemented. And to think about a true development policy for our country, we have also published the Sediao book. Burkina Faso is also a member of the Sahel State's configuration, comprising Burkina Faso, Niger and Mali, which face the same challenges and are obliged to join forces to tackle geopolitical challenges. It takes boldness to get started. As has been said, for China to develop, it really took audacity for it to do so. Really try an empire, and I think it's with this in mind that the president, comrade Captain IBM Traoré, has taken it on. And we already hope that with this boldness, Burkina Faso will become the China of tomorrow, helping producers to achieve food self-sufficiency. Building infrastructure, improving healthcare provision and improving living conditions for the population. In short, the Burkinabe authorities are charting a course for development. These are also satisfying the citizens interviewed, the voices that are being built at several levels. Well, there's agriculture too. We can see that the government is making efforts in terms of inputs and water infrastructure. At this level, we can say that, in any case, the government is making a lot of effort and so is governance. Well, it's acceptable because you get the feeling that these are people who really give their all. There you have it. I've come to serve, that's what we feel, and that's why we have to note that in agriculture, the agricultural offensive is in full swing to combat food insecurity and achieve food self-sufficiency. At industrial level too, you've noticed that industries are being created, and it's palpable. And we have just recently. APEC, with the completion of the tomato processing plant, there have also been reforms in the health sector. You really have to. In any case, it's there that he's made a lot of efforts, since this year there have been some things, some machines that will help the farmers cultivate much more. And that's so that they can d d d seed in any case. From that point of view, at least, it's not bad. He's done it well, at least we have since then. I don't know about something like that, but I've never seen the impression that it goes on like that. And we also have a policy to get our country to produce in Burkina and to encourage Burkina bears to consume what must be produced in Burkina Faso here. So, in view of all this, we think that Captain Ibn Traoré's management over the past two years, despite the cost of the war and the geopolitical context, is a very positive achievement that we can only applaud. Captain Ivan Traoré and his entire team, two years after Captain Ibrahim Traoré and the MPSL-2, symbolize the hope of a nation under construction, convincing all its citizens. The road is certainly full of pitfalls, but collective commitment and the will to build a better future for every Burkinabe. All the Burkinabe citizens we met expressed their willingness to accompany Captain Ibrahim Traoré as he steers the ships of Burkina Faso's sovereignty and total independence to their destination. I agree with them 100%, and I know my family, you agree with them 100%. Yes, the balance sheet is balanced. How many times did I say, if you manage a country like you manage your own business, it will go well, and this is how they have been doing. The balance sheet, I'm glad that our brother said that. It's balanced. There's no deficit. There's still improvement, but they are doing their best. And the other brother said the security, a lot has returned. That young uh, man or young boy said it, it used to be a lot of people standing at the roadside looking for a job, but now they all vanish. Guess where they are? A lot of them are in the farms farming. They are in the farm farming or they are under training farming or they are in the factories. So there's no time to stand there doing nothing or volunteer as well or go to the army as well. So it's great. I want someone to take a camera and mic to Ghana, Nigeria, which other country? Yes, we want to know on the street, what do they think about the democracy government? Those ECOWAS countries, if you think about one name there under the comment section, and let's give opportunity to someone who is not doing anything to go on the street, ask the people, 
Oh, Kenya as well. <laughs> Kenya as well. Ask them, ask the people what they are thinking, what they feel about the current situation they are president, the democratic president that they stand and they can't do anything without the democratic that they fought and fought for. Yes, President Nana Akufo Adu said they fought for democracy. Yes, the democracy that they fought for. <laughs> Somebody should go to the street and tell us how the people feel. Thank you so much. I end my case here. Like I said, I have the evidence on this channel. Check it. It's there to prove what they are saying. Nobody tell them what to say. Credit to BF1. Credit to RTB. My returning, my new families. Thank you so, so much. My kings and queens, God bless you all. Please like the video. Share it. This is how the street of Burkina Bay are saying about their president that a lot do not like. I will come back with a reaction of the news that came out, the confession that came out about the plot to remove him and the other uh, two kings. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.